Hey, Dr. Carlos Todd here, and welcome to another episode of Conflict TV. And today we're talking about love, right? <laughs> we're talking about how do you know how do you know how to love when you've never seen it? So today we're talking about how do you know how to love someone if you've never seen it, right? And I mean, it's an interesting question because I mean, most of the things that we do on a daily basis is part is comes about because of social learning. We saw, we observe other people doing it in a certain way, and therefore we do it a certain way. You know, we learn to drive based on how other people learn to drive. Um, other people in our family learn to drive, and so. A lot of other things kind of occur that way. Also, in loving someone, we learn how to love based on what we've seen. And that could be an anxious love. It could be an avoidant love. It could be, um, it could be a, a kind of love where you allow that person to be free and open. There are all kinds of expressions of love that we may have observed uh, with other people in our family that we've inculcated in our, in our lives. What I want to talk about really briefly is how love and conflict connect, right? One of the things that you really have to be able to kind of make sense of is this idea that, that when you get into a relationship with someone, they're going to have differences. There are going to be things about them that you don't like. And if you've never really seen someone handle those nuances very well, People do one of a couple things. They either withdraw, so you know, I can't control what you, what you, uh, how you respond, so they withdraw, right? Or sometimes people just try to control everything that the other person person does, right? And the healthy way of operating as it relates to love and conflict is is to be able to express a need, express a concern, but allow your partner to make a free decision about what direction they're gonna go in. And be able to sit with the discomfort sometimes that is associated with differences. A lot of times people just don't have this skill. It's either my way or no way, right? Or, you know, the other thing that can happen is that you become like a sacrificial lamb, right? You know, I'm just going to do everything your way until for some people they just explode. The healthy balance is that ability to, um, to express needs and concerns, a need or a concern but also be able to allow your partner to freely express their needs and concerns and negotiate it a, um, a middle ground sometimes. Sometimes it's not necessarily a middle ground, but you're negotiating some agreed upon uh, position. And that, my, my friends, is you know the, the crux of the matter when it comes to learning how to love, especially when it comes to learning how to love and deal with differences. It is something that if you don't have that skill, if you don't have that awareness, you have to learn it. Otherwise, you're going to have a relationship that's going to be filled with problems. And problems, ultimately, that you can't necessarily fix on your own. So, once again, we come to the end of another video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you can check me out at masteringconflict.com, masteringanger.com, or coupledfightschool.com. We're based out of Charlotte, North, North Carolina, and uh, I hope to see you soon. This is Dr. Carlos Todd. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.